solving quadratics by factoring. But first, we need a game plan. A game plan. First, we're going to set it equal to zero. The quadratic. Then, we're going to factor. Teach me how to factor. I <laughs> tried. And then, the zero factor property and solve. Now that we got that game plan, let's take it to the next level. The levy level. This guy, oh. I have four a squared minus 25 is equal to zero. Then what? Well, we see that we have the difference of squares. It's Kerman, the difference of squares. What's this? That's two a, what's five, uh-huh. So it's two a plus five. 2a minus 5, and that's equal to 0. So, now we use the zero factor property, and we see a 2a plus 5 is equal to 0, or a 2a minus 5 is equal to 0, then, woom, woom, and we see we're going to have a is going to be plus and minus, or let's just say minus 5 over 2, ooh, or woom, woom, Five over two. And then what do we do? <laughs> Box and flower. Next, this guy. Whoa, this one? Uh huh. This one? No. This one? Yes. First rule of factoring. Never talk about factoring. And then we're gonna pull out the common factor. It looks to be y. And then when I pull y out, I'm gonna have a y squared minus 19 y plus 90. That's gonna be equal to zero. Finish him. Yeah, finish him. We're looking for the factors of 90 that add to be 10. That seems to be 10 and 9. Fine. So then I, I gotta get that. I gotta get that. 9 and 10. Y and Y. And then we're looking, those says the signs are the same and they're both negative. Negative. And that's still equal to zero. What are you going to do with that y? I'm going to bring them right on down here. Now I use my zebra factor property three times. So I say y is equal to zero or y minus 10 is equal to zero or y minus 9 is equal to zero. Then I see y is equal to curly's zero. 10, or 9, fine, look at that thing, box and flower, now we can go up to this pink example, da -da 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 -da. not that pink, so I'm going to clean it up, ooh, ooh. 3y squared plus 18y is 21. What is going on? Well, that's the one. Okay, um, um, back that math up. So that's a 3y squared plus 18y minus 21 is equal to zero. First rule of factoring, never talk about factoring. And then after that, pull out a common factor. We see that factor gonna be a three. So then I pull that three out. Three times, oh, that's y squared. Three times six is 18, that's 16 y. And three times seven is 21. So that's a minus seven and that's equal to zero. Now we're looking for the factors of seven that subtract to be six. Are there any? Though there sure are. So I gotta get that. I gotta get that. Y, Y, seven, one. Signs are different, the big one's positive. That one's negative, it's still equal to zero. And I still have that three. So then we use that zero factor property three times. So three is equal to zero. Well, that's not true. So I'm just gonna get rid of that. And then Y minus one is equal to zero. Or Y plus seven is equal to zero. Then Y is equal to curlies one and minus seven then. Uh, box and flower. We're sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. <laughs>